the chickens have come home to roost. Senior ministers who have been cited in several corruption scandals are again featuring in alleged bribery in the old sector. Prime Minister Amama Mbabazi, Foreign Affairs Minister Sam Kutesa, and Hilary Onek of Internal Affairs have been accused of taking bribes from oil companies. And as MPs demand that they resign to pave way for investigations, Onek, whose name is coming up for the first time in grand corruption, says he is ready to quit if found culpable. Yeah. Won't you resign to pave way for investigations? Yeah, if necessary, I'll, I'll step down. I can even step aside now. I don't really bother. I really don't bother about that. And because think... really, to me, I want the truth to come out. But Kutesa and Mbabazi, who are long-time confidants of President Yawarim Seveni, are sticking to their guns, saying they are innocent. In Kenya, there is a law that when you, you are mentioned, you should step aside. That's not the case in the law of Uganda. And besides these allegations being made here, I have proved to Parliament, those who kept here, that these documents are forgeries. If there were serious investigations, and there was a case that I was involved in any impropriety. Of course, why not? But you, you cannot ask a public official to resign any time anyone springs up any accusation without any basis. John Patrick Amama Mbabazi, now Prime Minister and Leader of Government Business in Parliament, has served in many portfolios including Defence and the Security Ministries. Once referred to as Mr. Klein, Mbabaz has featured in the shillings 11 billion NSSF Temanga land scandal and alleged mismanagement of Chogam funds. He was cleared in both cases. Embattled Foreign Affairs Minister Sam Kutesa, who has been summoned by the anti-corruption court in regard to the Chogam scam, was censured in 1998 in the 6th Parliament over the Customs House scandal. He was also adversely mentioned in the CNN campaign, codenamed Gifted by Nature, where the country lost billions of shillings. And now he's on the list of those who allegedly took bribes from oil companies. Onek has served as Minister of Agriculture, Energy and now Internal Affairs Minister. Now some MPs are collecting signatures for a motion to censure the ministers if they don't resign. If the president cannot take action, parliament should take on action. And we should do, the action we should take is to censor them under Article 118. That if they think they will take the advantage of our number in the House to cover their evils, they should forget. We will not accept that as NRM. These are dirty individuals. I think they should step down and uh, they slowly begin to cleanse themselves. MPs have indicated on the floor of Parliament that our country is gifted flowing with honey and milk, but only few individuals are illegally benefiting from these gifts. It's now upon these lawmakers to ensure that these few illegal beneficiaries are out of the system. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Parliament.